on behalf of Afropunk, happy World Book Day. My name is Robert Jones Jr. and I'll be reading an excerpt from my novel, The Prophets, as well as sharing some background creative decisions I made in the chapter that I'm reading from. Also, I'll share with you some of my favorite reads from other authors. Please enjoy. Isaiah didn't have to say he surrendered because lying face down, stretched out like a star fool, already said it plainly. It made Samuel angry enough to pick up his disparate pieces and put them back together in glorious order. One final lash for daring, and then Samuel put Isaiah's arm around his neck, and together they walked with labored and wobbly step, chains just a jangling, back toward the barn, bow-legged because of the spikes, but not wanting to be unchained just yet. Twin backs, juicy with the marks left by whips and disapproving gazes. By the time they collapsed into each other, just past the barn entrance, dust scattering as they fell, To the dreary people watching, they looked like two ravens who had the nerve to become one. In this chapter, which is entitled Babel, I am describing how the two main characters of my novel, Samuel and Isaiah, are being punished for a perceived slight. One of the things I wanted to ensure since I'm writing about antebellum slavery is that I did not make slavery primary, that what had to be remembered was that my ancestors were not slaves. They were enslaved. Something happened to them. Something was done to them, but they were always people, fully dimensional, complex people. And I wanted to make sure that that was the strain running through this entire novel, but particularly in a chapter where they're facing brutality. Because what tends to happen in books that um, use these sorts of narratives is that the slavery itself becomes elevated to the foreground and the people who suffered through it, who made it through, who survived, become secondary. And I wanted to ensure, like in Toni Morrison's Beloved, that that didn't happen. Now, here are a couple of my favorites from other authors. Black Buck by Matteo Ascarapur. Long Division by Kiese Lehman. The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filiar. Shouting in the Fire, an American Epistle by Dante Stewart. And last but not least, Final Revival of Opal and Nev by Donnie Walton. Actually, any of the books on my shelf I would recommend, but make sure you add these five to your library. Happy World Book Day.